Hello friends, welcome back to another vlog. I'm looking extra rough today. Quarantine is doing a number on me. So that's why today Janelle and I are doing an at-home beauty spa day. She's mainly going to be helping me. I am not able to get my nails done, as you guys know. The biggest first world problem, but I know a lot of women are having this issue. You get these dip or acrylic nails on and you can't take them off yourself. You have to get them taken off at a salon or you can like hurt yourself. If you didn't see my last vlog, I already cut them down. There are these color depositing conditioning masks from Moroccan oil that leave color in your hair for like five days. I've never colored my hair anything fun. Anyway, she's going to color my hair. She's gonna wax my eyebrows. We're going to somehow fix my nails, try to paint them maybe. Pick me up before I even get on camera today. Spa day, Sadie? Spa day? Hello, is this thing on? I used to get my eyebrows waxed when I was like in high school and stuff. And I hated doing it because I'm cheap and I hate going because it takes time. So I started waxing my own eyebrows. And so I'm doing Kendall's today because obviously there are no salons open. And then we also got this. It's a little nail file like they have at the salons and we're gonna see if we can remove this because so many of you told me to use acetone. Well, we're in a pandemic and there's no acetone available anywhere. So can't do that. So we're gonna try yeah. to get them off with this thing. It's probably gonna have to like come over here. You guys wanna put yeah. that on my little towel? Oh yeah, <laughs> that would be good. Okay, now I have no fucking idea what I'm doing and which attachment will Just work best. Just don't burn my fingernail beds. No guarantees, so. <laughs> Comes with all these different like little attachment guys and then a bunch of nail file things. Okay, so. Okay, actually I'm gonna stand up to get a better <laughs> angle. Wow. It's gonna take, ow, now it hurts. <laughs> It like heats up. The closer you get to the actual nail, it starts to heat yeah. up. By the way, this ring is from Art by Jack Studio. Art yeah, by Jack. I'll link it her below. She makes some um, bunch of crystal jewelry. It's just like filing it down. Yeah, it's like coming off. Well, it's powder, so it's just like reverting back to powder. Okay, this is like really thick though. See, like, uh, I don't know. It's not like free work, you know. <laughs> That's why at the nail salon they normally have you, oh, 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 that's hot. That one's getting crazy. Word to the wise, I do not recommend this process. It's very long. Acetone would probably work a million times better. But everyone's, <laughs> whoa, I just went around your finger like a loop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but everyone's panic buying and you can't get anything that remotely cleans anything, so. It's, it's getting there. I can work on it so a little bit. So I think bit. we should do a finer tip. Look at this rat's nest I've got going on. So we just filed her nails and next it's up, not focusing, what's new? Next up is shower because we're going to color my hair. All right, I'm out the shower. I'm gonna use this fresh, what is it even? Fourth Ray Beauty, the big detox mask for my face because the acne is still there. Thank you guys so much for all of your tips and comments on the last one about skincare. I think I will be seeing an esthetician first and if I still don't have luck with that, I'll see a dermatologist. Really interesting reading all of the different comments, especially from other estheticians. So, really appreciate it. Come here. Hi. Someone asked me if I shave my eyebrows for them to be like this. Are you serious? You think I do this to myself at like all the time? I've had this problem for years. My eyebrows just don't grow in in the corners. That's why I need to get them microbladed, but obviously I'm gonna shut down right now. I take a cut up t-shirt strip mm. and place it on. I found it works way better than any like paper or anything. It's easier to do. Hold the skin nice and taut and rip. Oof. Oof. Do I need any in the middle? Sometimes I have kind of like invisibles. I don't think so. You like real, like, time, like, I don't think it's gonna really catch. Yeah, I don't got much eyebrows. Next step is dyeing my hair. Yep. Okay, so this is the mask that we're using. It's Moroccan oil, uh, color depositing mask. Now, hopefully that's enough. I have very little hair. It's very fine. Wait, do you have gloves for your mask? No, it doesn't say anything about gloves. It's dye. Uh, well, I don't have gloves. No, I don't have gloves. I don't think so. I didn't think about this very much. Well, look like you just wash your hands. It's just a conditioner. I think it would say wear gloves. This is like a purpley pink. It's pretty. Yeah, Kathleen told me it's more of like a purple. 
you don't care that this is gonna get dye all over it? Well, no. It doesn't yeah. even say anything like wear things that are. Okay, but the experts actually know what they're doing. If you're cringing right now, well, I'm so glad we're not I'm using sorry. anything crazy. Like, what if we were like bleaching at home bleach, like Brad Mondo fails status? I mean, this isn't that bad. It's just a conditioner mask. Watch him like make a video. You <laughs> Kendall Ray uses <laughs> shitty conditioner mask. No. Oh, jeez, it's thick. Okay, I'll ask some of the questions that I asked on my live stream the other night, some of those hypothetical questions, because they're fun to answer. So what were If they? you had to make your bed sheets any type of deli meat, oh, what would yeah, you want them to be? that was one of them. John and I, like, couldn't decide. I think I would do, like, a thinly sliced, um, like, tofurkey, okay? I don't know. Tofurkey, okay. Like, does that, can you have fake meat on there? Is that kind of your deli like, I think it didn't have a meat, a deli meat, but, fake I mean. turkey? <laughs> it's still wet and slimy. <laughs> Ew. That's yeah. what I said too, like that or like roasted chicken breast or something. Yeah. But that's just disgusting to think about having to sleep with that. Ugh. If you could smell like anything, have your aroma around you be anything, what would it be? And other people smell it all the time, so it's not just for you. Like lavender? Mm-hmm. That's what a lot of people were saying, like it's an essential oil or something. I don't know, like, I was gonna say like the smell of lush, but then again, I feel like Ooh. that would get really annoying after that a while. That could, that could. What animal that doesn't already have wings, would you want to give wings? Um, Josh said like a fuck, he said bird, like a peacock. I was like, that's so stupid, they already have wings pretty much. I would like to see flying cows. <laughs> cows? Maybe just pigs. Finally get to see the pigs fly. <laughs> pigs fly. Do you think it's dying your hands? Yeah. Damn, you're making real sacrifices for me. I appreciate I like it. I like a bad rash. Okay, so let's just let that hang out for a bit while I do these dishes. Cool. Right. Mm, looking beautiful. Okay, so it's been like 10 minutes or a little less maybe. <laughs> this is so uncomfortable. We're gonna rinse Kendall's hair. No, you're gonna have to get up because I'm gonna move the camera so they can actually see. Or do, do you guys care? Do they care? No, they don't care. <laughs> you can imagine what it looks like. Do we have a towel? No. <laughs> Has it been five to seven minutes, was it? If it hasn't been, it's too late. Oh, there is color in it. Wow. Here, turn around for the Oh, peeps. wow. Wow, for some reason, I just thought it was all going to rinse out. <laughs> no, like, it's definitely something. So we're already starting to dry the hair. It looks really cool. Yeah, I think it looks It's really very cool. subtle. Yeah, it's very subtle. But it is really cool. And I think we could have even left it in longer. Yeah. Like, I have a feeling it wasn't in for even seven minutes. <laughs> All right. I am doing my makeup. I am actually on the ColourPop PR list for some reason. I have no oh, idea yeah. why. But they sent their, like, beauty sponges. And there's one in here that is velvet. It's, like, soft and fuzzy. And I've really been good? wanting to try it out. I don't know. We're about to try. Oh. So I found a little bit of extra dye. Like it's seriously hardly any. It's like a drop. I have Yomi's Maggie here. She's a good girl. We love her. And I'm going to try to dye the very tip of her hair because she has like a good four inches of when her t between when her tail stops and all of her hair. She's got a ton of hair. So I want to like do the little tip. It totally worked. <laughs> it's very faint, not a whole lot. All right, here is the after. Let's flash back to my before, I'm looking rough. Okay. Okay. After. Thank you for making me more pretty <laughs> well, and good. presentable. Now I have no shitty nails on. All right, good morning. Here's how my hair is looking the next day. Kind of want to do this all the time. Like I just ordered a huge bottle of that conditioning mask to just use on the weekly for now. And then eventually I might just get it dyed like this permanently. Anyway, today is Saturday. Trying to keep a sense of normalcy in our lives even though everything is crazy right now. Today we are podcasting. But before we do so, Josh and I are gonna take Mr. Oakley on a walk. I'm not gonna bring you guys the two littles. They're very sad because they see leashes and they know that it's normally, you know, time for a walk. But I actually need to have the camera in my hand and um, focus because I need to get some shots for a video. Where is that Oakley? Oakley? Hi, son. You ready to go for a walk? You ready to go for a walk, Big Pyrenees? Look at what they're doing today. Digging it all up. They're currently putting in a sprinkler system. And drip lines for all the plants, for all the mulch beds over there. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect. So can... Yay! You wanna go you for a walk? We'll go for a walk. Have some grass. This is I actually just realized that we never did an update. The hippo was adopted. Oh really? Yeah, I just realized that. 
I'm sure everyone on our vlog channel is like, what the heck happened? Hippo has been adopted. He is very happy. He's living in Colorado Springs. I found the best owner for him. He's like so freaking happy. Yeah, he happy. looks so happy, so happy. And I'm happy for him. He's got a girlfriend. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He's got a little hot tot bunny friend. <laughs> so I'm watching Smoky that, like, Glow for Hannah. It's like the most accurate apocalypse. <laughs> and her husband. They just started a podcast. I'm to watch other couples' podcasts. Yeah, it is. We like to watch Jen and Jillian a lot, too. Yeah, and Ethan and Ella. I love when other couples do podcasts together because we can kind of relate to the, yeah, what it's you, like to do that. You, you start to understand, like, when you watch a couple podcast, you start seeing the dynamic between the couple. Yes. And, like, you get to see, like, where they agree on stuff, where are they different, where, yeah. you know, what mannerisms are different. Mm -hmm. And just the way they interact. Like, yeah, it's yeah, interesting yeah. to see someone's relationship <laughs> in, like, a live setting. Yeah. We are just getting ready to do our own podcast. Um, Janelle's coming soon. Getting ready to podcast, trying to keep it zen in here since we're talking about a lot of heavy stuff, especially in the intro topics lately. This virus is insane. It's not something I enjoy talking about, but it's important. This is yeah. changing the entire planet right now. Like, we need to. It feels weird to not talk about it. Yeah, exactly. It's like, where are we going to pretend like this isn't happening and exactly. just go on normally? Josh's face frozen. All right, so we recorded the podcast. I think it was a really good episode. We talked about crop circles, which is one of my favorite topics. It's so fascinating, but we're done for the night. So we are inside. We are playing a bunch of video games tonight and we're not really big video game people normally, but we're so bored. So we actually broke out our VR set. Janelle's feeding the no. buns. Maggie, you can't eat carrots. Oh, sorry. Well, actually, she can't eat carrots. Hi, babies. What do you have? Is that yummy? Little ops, what are you doing? So cute. You're the cutest little Maddie's boy, aren't you? Either. First, she doesn't need to eat a carrot stick. No, it's baby. You having a carrot, little boys? Hey, no, you don't need salad. They just want it because they're like, the bunnies want it, though. Yeah, like, exactly. what, is, what is so good about this? That Should we so try good. to get some of it? Apollo's, like, not even interested. He just wants to run around. Carrot? Yum, yum. <laughs> so this is what she's seeing? Beat saber, yeah. What is this? Beat saber. Okay. And then when the walls come, you gotta move, physically move your body out of the way. <laughs> she looks so she's... funny in that outfit. Let Kendall try it. Kendall? <laughs> you want to try the game? It is very good. She's right there. No, 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 no. Turn around. Where she's right there. Would you like to try the game? <laughs> um, <laughs> Oakley, Oakley, come here. All right, Janelle's riding a roller coaster. This is what she's seeing. This is what she's seeing. Ooh, it's going a little fast. Can we go upside down? Oh, shit! Now this is cool. Does it feel like you're really riding it? Um, I don't know, I've never been on one. <laughs> Yeah, what the it hell? Janelle has never <laughs> been on a roller coaster. I don't even understand. I'm sure there's some of you out there who haven't either. Let us know in the comments if you've been on a roller coaster or not. Oh, now we're flying? Oh, hell yeah. Dude, this is like Mario Kart. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of too. But you don't have to actually do anything. Yeah, you just oh. ride it. It feels a lot more real. Like your whole body, because the chair can move. Yeah. <laughs> that's all the fun. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> that's dizzy, all right. All right, so it is, let's see, five days later since Janelle colored my hair that pink rose gold, and as you can tell, it has washed out quite a bit. Now, I have only shampooed once, and that was today. That's right, I skipped washing my hair for five days, which I do that a lot, actually. It's really good for your hair to do that. It got pretty nasty by the end. I was doing that so that I could have the strongest color by the time I filmed today. Uh, and I feel like it faded quite a bit. Actually, now that I'm looking on camera, like right in front of a bright window, you can see it a little bit more. Like upstairs in my room, you can almost not even tell. I'm curious how many people will even notice in my video. I'm about to film a video on the Dirty John, John Meehan case. And I don't know, now that I'm looking in the camera, it definitely is still there. But yeah, in real life, it doesn't look like it's as much there. So I don't know. 
I did get a full size bottle of it because I like the results so much and I want to keep it up for a little while. I might even try more of like a temporary dye. Let me know if you guys have any good recommendations, but I love this color in my hair. I'm going to keep using this and next time I use it, I'm going to try to use it for seven, maybe even eight, nine minutes. It says five to seven. I'm pretty sure Janelle and I did it for like five or less. I'll try again, but I think it looks pretty good. But I'm going to end this vlog here. I'm gonna go film my video. I will see you guys in the next vlog.